हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नंद किशोर क्लासेस टुडेज लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड एल सी एम एंड एच सी एफ ऑफ दीज अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन फोकस वेरी केयरफुली लेट एस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए स्क्वेयर बी एंड ए क्यूब बी टू द पावर फाइव लेट एस फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट एल सी एम वाइल राइटिंग एल सी एम वी नीड टू टेक द bigger exponent like a square and a cube the bigger one is a cube so we will write a to the power 3 first and from b and b power 5 take the bigger number b to the power 5 this is going to be the lcm of first question let me do second as well x square and x power 5 the bigger one is x to the power 5 y square and y the bigger exponent is y square that's it let us move to third p square and p cube the bigger value is p to the power 3 q power 5 q power 6 bigger one is q to the power 6 r power 7 r power 8 so r to the power 8 i hope you are clear with the concept that we need to write the highest value so fourth question i am leaving for you If you have understood the concept, then please write its answer in the comment box so that I'll get to know whether you are clear or not. Come to number five. By the time I am doing five, x power seven and x square. It is x power seven. Y to the power five and y to the power seven is y to the power seven. Z to the power nine. I'll take here. Now the last part. <coughs> it is having some difference. Please check it very carefully. x square and x cube the highest value is x power 3 y power 3 y power 4 highest is y power 4 and see z square is coming here in the second term but it is not available in the first still we will write it in the lcm if any variable is there which is not available in any expression we still take that one with the same exponent whichever is available so please keep a note of this special point now while writing hcf in lcm we took the higher value right in hcf take the smaller value like from these two a square is smaller so i'll write a square then only b that's what the difference is like from the second part x square and x power 5 you will take only x square from y square and y we will take y i hope it is making sense then you write the answer of third part hcf now in the comment box let me continue with fourth question the smaller value is p from q if you compare smaller is q then r square fifth one answer will be x square y to the power 5 and z to the power 5 the smaller values i took and now check very carefully the last part since we need to take only common things like from x square and x cube i will write x square y cube and y power 4 i will write y cube z square i am not going to write here because z square is not coming in the first expression that is what the important thing is the sixth part we took because it has different scenario but i hope you are clear with the concept if you think that this video is helpful for others please like it and share it as well thank you so much